Hi guys, this is Desbula Mina, back for Visual Real Estate Developers. Today we're going to be talking about an uh, important business concept uh, which is called joint venture. Probably heard of that word, but this is one uh, concept or a business approach that enables the biggest of the biggest builders to build n number of projects while making sure they're able to keep a good hold on the amount of money that they're investing at the same time benefiting investors and owners of property out there. So let's begin today's video. Okay, so joint venture. Joint venture basically means a contract, a legal contract between a, a owner of a property and a respective developer, builder, a construction company. In this, uh, in this form of partnership or venture, you basically as a land owner, give your respective property to a reputed builder, developer, construction company for the purpose of development. Now, you're not necessarily transferring the ownership, but you're basically giving them the right to construct on your property and the details of how exactly things will work in terms of ownership and rights is something that is decided at the time of drafting the joint venture agreement. Now, in this case, most of the time, the owners does not pay for any form of development that takes place on the respective property. However, in certain cases, it might differ, especially if the property value is not as high as the type of construction or there is a type of project that is coming up on the respective property. Then in that case, if the respective owner is open, he would definitely be, be chipping in or investing in into the respective project. Now, why you as a respected property owner here in Goa should you give your respect should you give your, your your property your valuable property to a respective developer who you don't even know <clears throat> this is where trust the name of the developer and the type of agreement that you sign is what makes a difference why should you consider joint venture because in the long run joint venture is going to be much much significantly much more profitable than the outright sale that you would have uh, made <coughs> for the respective property that you own when you just say now let's just say you go for an outright sale you have just sold your property and the the the, the slabs of uh, tax which you will be applicable for is going to require you to invest in other properties as such making you makes as, as such making you just uh, keep investing in different properties or have different form of investment schemes however in joint venture the respective developer comes to your property, he develops it, he adds value, he invests his own money and at the end of it, not only do you get a monetary compensation, but you also get a respective part in the respective development, be it apartments, be it flats, be it uh, luxury flats, whatever the case of, uh, whatever the developer has made on his respective property. And as such, this gives you a higher value in terms of appreciation in the future, in terms of for your property. At the end of it, what you, what you will be compensated at the end of this entire project of joint venture will be much more higher than what you would just receive as a person selling his property. If you would just sell your property outright and you would, re you, would re you would receive X amount. However, when a builder comes to you, he develops the property, he puts in his own cost. At the end of it, what you will have will be much more higher than what you would have just by selling the respective property outright. There are multiple very reputed and very huge developers out there who are using this model not because they're trying to exploit you or something because this enables them to not only make sure that they are able to expand their brand and increase their portfolio but at the same time uh, uh, oh no just like you out there in Goa can benefit from such a respective uh, from such a respective partnership you will have a barren land of a decent size however it's in a prime location and this people, the, the such construction agencies and developers can come and construct huge projects on it, adding value to it. And you get to decide the entire outcome of it, how much you will actually make out of it. Even if, even if you have a property whose actual value is lower due to some reason after development, definitely in, if it's in a prime location or a prime area, it will definitely add value to it. And this is why a lot of people are considering joint venture. You need to understand that joint venture is not just a short term thing. It is a long term thing. You're investing for the long, you're not investing for the long term, but you, your property is being appreciated in the long term so that your value starts increasing, your investments value start increasing. So this is why you basically need to understand that joint 
joint venture is a very very good approach for making a productive use of your respective property in the case where you yourself don't want to develop the property but at the same time you would want to see some form of appreciation happening in the property while you be a part of it and this is where joint venture is a perfect perfect deal however always make sure that the respective joint venture agreement which i am coming to right now has been has been executed in the best possible manner now let's talk about the joint venture agreement as well as the taxation section of how the taxes work for joint venture now a lot of people they always panic when they hear about joint venture especially people who are on the elderly side because it is a some form of contractual agreement that involves both the sides and uh, this is something that requires an understanding of both the parties involved as such this is why a very nicely drawn joint joint uh, joint venture development agreement uh, has to be created and has to be registered in the registrar or sub register whatever the as per the case may be for it to be bound legally these things are not just a form of agreement that is just signed but they are legally enforceable and whoever defaults the terms and condition during this period can be can be can have can face a very hefty penalty and as such this ensures your safety as the owner of a respective property now what are the basic details of a respective joint venture agreement you have your party details that is of the land owner and of the respective uh, property developer you have the property details then that is you wherein you disclose the ownership the descriptions of the plot the history of the property and any type of notes that need to be disclosed at the time of transferring such property for the purpose of joint venture development and other, then you have your offers and acceptance this is basically where you spell out the type of offer that is made that is the monetary compensation the type of respective properties that will be transferred at the end of the respective development their monetary value and all forms of such minute details that are that are associated with the assets that will be that will be transferred at the end of the joint venture you have your finally you have you have also some common clauses that is you need to discuss the duties of you as a land the duties of the land owner as well as the developer the rights of the land owner and the developer the obligations as well as the restrictions of both the parties will be spelled out over here and as such you need to make sure that this specific area is framed in the best possible manner to make sure that you as a land owner are free from all forms of law obli- or are free from any form of unnecessary uh fraudulent activities or any form of setbacks arising due to some of some some form of uh, misunderstanding in this area this is the main area which can keep you safe from any form of uh or losses from the respective joint venture agreement so make sure that this area is specifically drawn properly by a respective uh, lawyer or a joint venture aggregator or person who who is having a draft who is having experience in drafting joint venture agreements also if a joint venture agreement is drawn up by a respective uh, developer make sure to put in your own as well in to make sure that your interests also taken into consideration and any form of joint venture development agreement which is put forth to you please don't just be the one reading it also put it in front of a very good reputed lawyer this is not an area to cheap out on please make sure that you hire a very reputed lawyer and not just some small time lawyer this is with outright respect for lawyers out there of course but at the same time to make sure that your respective uh, interests have been safeguarded properly this is not a joke over here some form of uh, uh, note or some form of point mentioned in this respective agreement can compromise has the power to compromise the entire deal if it's not been read with the correct intention keeping in mind a legal aspect to it you have you also need to mention the property schedule that is what will be the schedule for everything to happen right from the transfers to the when will the master plans be drawn all of these things have to be have to be made sure ha, has been specified over here that is the year of transfer when will the developer complete the project or when when can you expect the completion or the occupancy certificate for the respective project all these things um, including the master plan all of such things have to be included in your joint venture or a joint uh, development agreement and finally you need to make sure that the payment schedule has been mentioned over here and not just been a verbal one 
because this is the payment schedule that according to which the respective developer has to abide by and pay you or send it to you no matter what the case may be and make sure that your respective obligations are always fulfilled at no point be willing to compromise on anything that has been mentioned in the joint venture agreement unless it, ha it, it has come to a point where you just need to have a small form of compromise but in, the, in, in, in any other case do not uh, compromise on anything that is mentioned in the respective joint venture agreement and uh, yeah and finally I will just give you all a basic brief in uh, the taxation aspect of joint venture agreements now the main thing that a lot of people who think in financial wise they first thing they ask me is this well what do you think how what is the taxes what are what are you what are we how do you how do we pay the taxes we're not making any money right now but the development is happening who's paying the taxes i don't want to get in any form of uh, risk from taxation company from taxation authorities and as such so the first thing that i tell them is that initially before the how this how the taxation on joint ventures would work is that if you're an individual property owner then in this case what would happen is that when the joint venture agreement is executed on the year the respective property is transferred to the respective developer in that year you would be subject to pay the respective taxes that is based on the on the on that day's stamp duty value of the respective property uh, however this is still applicable for companies companies if you're a company if if you if the respective prop property is owned in the form of a company then in that case you would be you the taxes uh, liable for the respective property or for the respective joint venture would be on the day or the previous year during the year in which the respective transfer of the property has been done to the respective developer for the purpose of construction now for an individual as of now under section 45 5a it is chargeable in the previous year that is in, during the year in which the occupancy certificate is issued for the complete project or for the par part of the project now what exactly would you pay stamp duty on right now you would basically pay stamp duty on the monetary consideration now let's just say you get a monetary consideration of uh, once year for the respective uh, joint venture agreement that is given that your property value is much higher so you get a monetary compensation of once year for your respective property and at the same time you get three flats five flats whatever let's just say five flats you get so you get five flats and at the same time you get once year so what would the monetary comp compensation be calculated on the monetary compensation would be calculated on one cr as well as plus the five the stamp duties the current stamp duties on date stamp duties during the year in which the oc was issued the stamp duties of the respective properties individually so if you got five respective uh, flats the taxes would be compiled on the five stamp duties of each of these flats as well as the once year that you got as monetary compensation <clears throat> yeah so this is something that you really need to know and whatever basically you receive at the end of this entire project it will be it will be considered as full value consideration that is this is the, the entire value that I in the case where I was a developer am giving you you as a respective owner of a land for the for allowing me to construct on top of your property so i hope that you you i hope that you have been you you i hope that you were able to understand what exactly that i'm trying to say in terms of what a joint venture means i personally always suggest joint venture because the the a person who understands long term value because you will earn more it's not that i'm trying to a lot of people think that this is something that you will get a lower value in and you will not get the property value and you will be in losses and all this is completely wrong when you do the numbers properly and you understand the value of construction what a construction or development does to your property and how much it can appreciate it that is when you completely understand the value of uh, the value of what developers out there are doing 
a lot of developers are in fact are just expanding via this channel and the reason why people are understanding is because they have purchased properties just for the purpose or just for the sake of this you don't need to spend in your money let the developer come invest in that money and as well as at the same time give you a, prop, a consideration against the respective uh, value your property holds and at the same time in the long run you will be adding a much better portfolio to yourself and be able to have a much improved uh, investment uh, a structure for your respective property at the same time you don't have the you don't need to take the burden of going around develop of going around to get all the paperwork clearances spend in your own money develop the property have a headache of selling the property you don't need to do all that you can just put out your respective property in front of a uh, in front of a developer or a builder who are, who is willing for a joint venture so if you need if you are a goan and you need a, you need builders for the purpose of joint venture we ourselves personally undertake such projects we are we go out there we help we 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 get if we if we ourselves don't want to do it we make sure that you have some other builder who would be willing to do it with this be it a small property huge property as the case may be you get to spell out the types of terms and condition that you as a owner expect and you have so much power in your hand to ensure your safety and your interest of your respective property so as such i would really like to uh, push the fact that please do go for joint ventures as much as you can the long term value is much more than just the short term aspect of the property and all the same time you get a very valuable developer doing such a huge job for you at the same time giving you the value of their name and their construction so as such uh, please just do i need to, people really need to uh, do really need to start considering joint venture as a very good approach for development and uh, up, take this ahead as a form of uh, investment and not just as a loss anyways Thank you so much uh, for uh, <coughs> watching today's video. We look forward uh, to showing you much more concepts and uh, different aspects of real estate and making sure that you are able to make the best decision. This is Desbal Almeida here for Visual Real Estate Developers.